Hey, what's up everybody? This is Steven with another Pixel for Life video tutorial. Today we're going to be working on this Twitter feed right here on this bottom section. Now the final product is going to be, look a little bit different than this because I found another way of pulling the Twitter feed. It's actually going to look something like this. Well, exactly like that. It's close to it, but it's slightly different. So to start off, let's pop this open. You're going to want to go to Twitter's website, then Goodies and Widgets. Click on uh, for your website, and then Profile Widget. So once you're there, just type in your username, and it will pull all of them right there. Then you can go into your Preferences, and you can mess with this, your appearance. You can change all this around. Now, I already have this uh, set up. I already did the colors on this. so. Um, I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just going to copy and paste the code later on. So to start off, we're going to want to go to our index.html and create a wrapper for that. And we're going to create a wrapper for the whole bottom content, I believe. And that's going to be div with an ID of content wrapper. And then inside of that, we're going to have a div with the ID of Twitter box and this is going to be the div that holds the Twitter stuff because um, we're going to get a uh, alright so let's just do some comments right here we're gonna go Twitter box ends and then content wrapper ends all right, so let me copy and paste this code real quick. And I'll go over it slightly. Now this all right here, uh, background and the normal color, which I think is a font. And whatever, you can go through all that on your own inside of the appearance tab right over here. All this just gets changed into this. All right, so when you have that, you can save it. And let's just open up open this up in our browser and you can see what that looks like it's very basic and ugly so what we need to do is do a little bit of CSS now to find out this code all I did was right click and inspect element and it took a while but I found out what classes do what so <laughs> I don't remember what all these mean but um, we'll try and go through it and figure it out so I'm just going to make one for Twitter box, just a comment. I'm going to copy that and paste it. All right, so the first one is going to be .wtr-hd, and I believe this is the header for the Twitter. So for this, we're going to give it some padding of 15 pixels on the top, 10 pixels for the right side, 10 pixels for the bottom, and 15 pixels for the left and we're gonna to have to put important on there just so it changes it and then for margin we're gonna go zero on the top zero on the right negative 10 pixels on the bottom and zero on the left save that and let's see what that did wait for it to load and you can see it, it pushed this over uh, 15 pixels the little thumbnail picture and also uh, spaced it a little bit better inside of there so nothing too big but it'll look better in the end so now we want twit twitter do wait no wtr dash bd i believe this is the background so we want background and this is going to be a blue color so we're not even going to see anything once i uh, if i refreshed so 8 eb 1 d 2 and that's just that blue color right here and then I wanted to do twitter-tweet-wrap this I believe is the div that wraps each individual tweet so for this we're gonna go margin and then 0 on the top 0 on the right 15 pixels on the left and wait 15 pixels on the bottom and 0 on the left. So this is just going to space out each tweet from each other. So let's save that. Or let's put on the little period there. And refresh. 
as you can see it just spaced out put a little space on the bottom and that's so when we wrap it inside of that white div it um, it doesn't uh, hug each other it has a little bit of a gap so now we want to stylize the anchor tags which is the links or the hashtags like this over here and all that and we're gonna do that by uh, class of Twitter dash tweet dash text a so if you remember a is the anchor and we just want to make the font weight and I'm gonna make it bold alright so now is time to do the individual tweet and that is going to be wrapping it in the white so we're gonna do that by going WTR dash oops dash uh, widget and then space dot twitter dash tweet and then for that it's going to be a background of white and a margin of 15 pixels so it's going to be 15 pixels all around and now we're just going to do some border radius and you should know this by now or find a way to figure out how to do it which is at CSS3 generator website which I showed previously so I just copy and paste this code in it's a 5 pixel border radius all around so let's save that refresh here as you can see it looks mighty beautiful so that's pretty much it for this Twitter box. We're just going to do a little bit of stylizing for the for the wrapper around uh, this content and the wrapper around the Twitter box. So to do that, we're going to come just above all this. Um, let's go up here, and we're going to do content wrapper, and we're just going to give it a width of 930 pixels, just like everything else and margin is zero auto just to center it and we're going to give it some margin top so let's do 10 pixels I think that's what we have for everything else and then that's it just for that content wrapper and then inside of Twitter box we are going to have that uh, Twitter box and it's going to be float to the right save that and we can refresh it here wait for it to load and there you go floating on the right side 10 pixels from the top and it's within that content wrapper so that's it for this tutorial I just wanted to show how to do the Twitter box in this this video in the next one we're going to take care of this content on the left side so thanks for watching and be sure to uh, give me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, do whatever you feel like doing. Thanks for watching and see you next time.